In Uganda, a country of over 40 million people, only 41% of its population has access to electricity. The government of Uganda aims to achieve universal energy access by 2030. But currently, only a fourth of the population is connected to the power grid. This means that Uganda will likely have to connect over 10 million customers to achieve universal access. If grid extension is the sole method of service provision, the required investment would likely be in the range of 7 billion US dollars, which is about 20% of the nation's GDP. There is a cheaper and faster way. A coalition of energy sector leaders are creating the utilities of the future by integrating the public and private sectors and centralized and decentralized solutions to provide affordable, reliable, and clean power for all. Utilities 2.0 is actually a global initiative that's focused on bringing centralized and decentralized energy together to catalyze the research, engineering, regulation, and political will to achieve a faster, more affordable approach to ending energy poverty. We have the SDG 7, yeah, right, which envisaged by 2030 across the world everyone or every household should have access to clean energy. So we believe that um, through this project, the learnings we shall get we will be able to scale and assist to ensure that we can achieve SDG 7. Working in partnership with the national utility is a must if we want to bring electricity to 100% of the population. Through the Tuake pilot project, the partners aim to achieve faster connections and drive demand stimulation so that more customers productively use their electricity. Our goal is to link energy access and agro-processing, promote economic growth in rural communities. This project has helped business owners earn more from their investments. Juliet Nabatanzi, one of the many project beneficiaries, is now earning more from her house rentals. <laughs> It has been a journey from customers having a lot of questions and doubts about the power to customers now embracing and more connections coming up and having so many other people wanting to, to get the opportunity to be connected. One of the project partners, Enagro, is providing appliance financing for fridges, saloons and restaurant equipment to enable businesses to make more money from their electricity connections. Fridge nyambe business yango. Rokuwa wa customer wajia. Nemba we vinyogoza. Vinyogoga. Nemba funakale cheba agala. Appliances and tools that use electricity, they can help people earn money, can help the energy company earn an income as well. So when the customer is earning more money, the energy company is earning more money, and Energro is making a business gain as well. The initiative, once scaled, can make a serious contribution to achieving universal energy access. The objectives of the project is to test uh, grid integration. And as such, uh, the, the customer that we've uh, connected is able to vent uh, off the, the, the Umeme system like any other customers. Uh, he's uh, been provided with the same meters uh, the Umeme customer has. The learnings from this project will inform significantly policy especially for Uganda where mini-grids and integration of mini-grids or offline systems to the grid um, is still in its infancy stages. It's time to realize that neither centralized nor decentralized energy is purpose-built to solve energy poverty alone. It's only through partnership that we'll be able to solve this global problem. Mm -hmm.